505 by the Arctic Monkeys. This is perhaps the easiest Arctic Monkeys song that we can play on guitar with just two easy open chords, D minor and E minor. We have basic strumming for the first part of the song and then more advanced strumming for the second half of the song. And if you like this, the other very easy Arctic Monkeys song would be Why Do You Only Call Me When You're High? I'll leave a link to that tutorial just up here and also in the description. But let's learn this awesome song. This song can be played on acoustic or electric guitar, absolutely fine, and we don't need a capo or anything, we just need two simple chords, D minor and E minor. With the D minor chord, we want to make sure we have our fingers on this angle, like this, sort of with fingers pointing towards your right shoulder so that this stretch is something that we can do. If that's something that you struggle with, you can use your little finger uh, to play fret three of the D minor chord. And when we strum, it's fine to strum string five. It's not often written on many chord charts, but it's totally fine to have string five ringing out. But on the D minor chord, we don't want string six to ring out. Otherwise, it sounds a bit bad. So we don't want that. We want from string five. And all six strings on E minor. And that is the first half of the song. That's all we'd need to do. And each chord rings out for two bars. So it's a count of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E minor, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And that just repeats. Therefore, it's a good opportunity if you do have an electric guitar, an amplifier, or if you have some pedals, you can try perhaps adding some reverb to your sound, which I'm going to add reverb to this sound in the video edit, which sounds like this on the D minor chord. We can hear the reverb tail there. It sounds like I'm in a big room all of a sudden, and it still sounds good when we have the guitar ringing out, because it gives this feeling of space. Many guitar amplifiers, such as the Boss Katana or the Positive Grid Spark, have these effects built into them, so that's a good idea. If you're more of an intermediate player, you can try both of those same chords, but with the bar chord versions of them, which would be a minor bar chord at the fifth fret, and then also at the seventh fret. It's the same chord shape. just for the intermediate players, but is a great option, as well as going for these two minor chords. To give a quick demo of the song, here's the start of it, which is essentially the chorus from the D minor chord. I'm going back to 505, if it's a seven hour flight or a 45 minute drive. In my imagination, you're waiting, lying on your side. And it just continues like that. We can give ourselves perhaps a little bit more to do uh, by strumming once for the first bar and then strumming on the beat, but just very small strums. One, two, three, four, for the second bar of the two bar count. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That is a good opportunity to make sure we're changing chord at the last possible second, but arriving on the next chord by beat one. This is important for these minor chord changes. This forces us to strum and go one, two, three, four, and as soon as we've strummed four, we lift off and get to the next chord by the time of the next strum. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, lift off, down for the next chord. One, two, three, four. Superb practice for those minor chord changes. And as I say, if you're more of an intermediate player, same thing, but with the bar chord versions.
exactly the same thing. As I say, that happens for the first half of the song and then it gets much faster and more up-tempo. And my recommended strumming pattern for this section would be as follows. I'll talk you through that, but it is more of an intermediate pattern and perhaps the best one for beginners to go for would just be down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, and four. 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 That's our beginner-friendly pattern. We'll just do it for a couple of rounds. Join in with me in one, two, three, and four. Notice that thumb sitting on top to mute string six so that we don't have to think about not strumming string six when we're in these faster strumming sections. And then it comes off for the E minor, back on for that D minor. Really crucial point if you're a beginner to start thinking about adding this thumb, but it can be tricky in the beginning. It's something we want to just work towards. Uh, the other strumming pattern that I'd recommend, which is more intermediate level, down, up, and then silence. And then it's just a repetition of up, down, up, silence, down, up, silence. So that's just something to get the mechanics of first of all. Up, down, up, silence. With the outside of the palm of the hand. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Just get used to how that feels. And then the full pattern. Two, three, four. Down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. That's going to be the full pattern and then we change chord. Same on the E minor. Two, three, four. And if we just loop that on the D minor, Definitely stay on one chord while you're getting used to these kind of harder strumming patterns. Um, and then when we come to change chord, we want to lift off again early and arrive on beat one. So we actually play this chord for that last up strum, okay? And it's totally fine. It sounds fine in context. Awful on its own, but fine in context. Let me show you. Down, up. crucial that we do that, especially for this chord change where we have no anchor fingers, we need to lift all our fingers off, and we just make it part of the rhythm. We just make sure the last up strum in this pattern that we do, we just play all the open strings. Lots of fun if you've never done it before. We can do the same thing in bar chords. Again, we're just going to move slightly early. And lift off. Exactly the same. Keep the fing uh, fingers two, three, and four down, but lift off that first finger, perhaps. The one thing we can do with bar chords with this strumming pattern is relax that, relax those fingers. Don't lift them off the strings, but relax them from squeezing. Full relax in there to be able to do that. And that is all sections of this song. So please have a go at playing along to the Arctic Monkeys version of this song, either the electric one or any acoustic versions you can find. And I'll leave a couple of other Arctic Monkeys songs that I would recommend on the screen for you now. Thanks for checking out this video, and I hope to see you next time on the Andy Guitar YouTube channel, website, and app.